गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर कैलाश पाटिल आई एम कंसल्टेंट नी सर्जन एट सर्जेटिव हॉस्पिटल माई मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्क इज इन्वॉल्व अराउंड डूइंग नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरीज विच इन्वॉल्व कन्वेंशनल नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरीज एज वेल एज रोबोटिक नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरीज वी ऑल्सो डू यूनिय कंडाइलर नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरीज वेर अ पार्ट ऑफ द नी इज ऑल्सो चेंज सो नाउ अट इज विद एडवेंट ऑफ न्यूअर टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड एडवांसमेंट इन द uh instrumentation we have come up with uh, robotics and as everyone knows robotics is not a new science now to the world it has become already a developed and an established kind of a science but there are newer advances which are coming into uh play with this robotics uh today i would like to tell you that robotics uh initially involved a, a, a lot of work up of the patient in the form of ct scans mri scans and then going in for the robotics which had to be fed to the machine in order to get it right but nowadays the manual machines are so advanced that they do not need all these kind of uh, ct scans and mri scans and we can directly go in and tell the machine that this is the knee and this is what we are going to do the machine will do every planning and everything for us to the millimeter uh, to 0.1 mm of perfection so that we can be easier and faster with our surgeries initially robotic surgeries it used to take about 1 1 and a half 2 hours uh, to perform the surgery which was way too higher uh for a knee replacement surgery the timing uh but now with these new one machines we can finish it off within 40 to 45 minutes and that is a biggest boon uh which has helped uh, surgeons to get in new patients and start with new surgeries and save on the amount of time the patient is going to spend at the ot as well as the anesthesia time so these new one machines are more of haptic based they are more of uh uh 3d models and they are more based on x ray uh, x ray modalities so all these things help us in delivering better um, and precise and less costlier um, services to the patient where it is involved with robotic surgeries now i would also like to uh, emphasize on the point that not every patient is going to require a robotic surgery we have to cater robotic surgeries to the patients who really require it in those cases when there are lot of deformities there are lot of uh, alignment issues there are lot of bone loss there is a lot of soft tissue involvement and all these things are going to make sure that we are going to do a robotic surgery in conventional knees where there is no requirement of robotic surgeries i don't uh, recommend uh, that we really go in for robotic surgeries unless until we are fighting any kind of issue with the intraoperative or postoperative period 